So the last thing we do with even and odd functions, we've talked about them graphically, we've talked about them in tables, and now we're gonna talk about them algebraically. Without actually seeing the tables, seeing any points on a graph, how can I tell if something is an even or odd function? So what we do, these function rules, basically that come from our transformation rules, we test and see if they're true. So I'm gonna see is to see if something's even is f of x equal to f of negative x. Um, if you think way back to the beginning of the year, we would do those identities and we would set two things up and we would see if they were true or not. And that's basically what we're gonna do. So on this one, because we have g of x to check for even, we're saying does g of x equal g of negative x. So it's more of a question here. We don't know if it's going to work and we'll check and see. So I'm going to do for g of x, I'm just writing down the function, right? That's just the normal function. g of negative x would be negative x squared plus one. I'm going to throw a one in here just to make it a little easier. So the left side of my equation just stays the same. The right side of the equation, if I distribute, that's going to become positive one x squared, which is just x squared plus one. So that works, which means this is an even function. Now we already said there's only one type of function that's both even and odd, but we're going to go through the odd process just to kind of show it here, even though we're pretty sure this is just an even function. So my odd rule is that the function equals the function after a rotation of 180 about the origin, which is the same as a reflection in the y-axis and the x-axis. So g of x would be x squared plus 1. And negative g of negative x. Let's add some color. So we're going to put a negative sign in the front. And then we're also going to write g of negative x in here. So I have the negative 1 x squared plus 1. So this side is pretty much just going to stay the same as we go down. So x squared plus 1 over here. And then here I have negative. This becomes a positive x squared because this part is the same as what you do for even. And then if I distribute my negative, over here I get negative x squared minus 1, right? If I change those signs, like we've done so many times, um, so that does not work. So it's not odd. Now, if I had to cross them both out, then I would say it was neither. But since the even worked, this is an even function. Now, the next one is going to be a little trickier because we're going to have to get into some more simplifying with, you know, times four is going to make it a little bit trickier. I'm just going to make this a little bigger so I have a little more room to write. Um, so I'm going to start out with the even. So is f of x equal to f of negative x? So is 4x to the fifth minus 6x squared equal to 4 times negative x to the fifth minus 6 times negative x squared? So directly in for those x's. Now, some of this, if you need to take a little more time, but we're just going to talk about odd and even exponents here because that's kind of going to be an important thing. If I have an odd exponent, then this is going to stay negative because it's like we have five negative x's in a row multiplied by each other. Four of the negative signs will cancel, but one will be left. So overall, this is four times negative x to the fifth. I could throw the one in there, but we're going to try to move away from that. Here I have an even exponent, so that's going to become positive x squared. So this is negative 6 positive x squared. Simplifying further, I have negative 4x to the fifth minus 6x squared. Right, because this is 4 times a negative 1. So this one did not work. We're close, but our... 4x to the fifth does not have the same sign. So this is not an even function. We will cross that out and we'll move on to odd. Okay. 
Now for odd, sometimes you can cheat a little and I'm gonna show you how to now. We already know what negative f of x is, right? We already have that written here. So if you want to take that, and if you're sure you did it right, you know, you can actually take that and just put it there. So f of x, my original function, is 4x to the fifth minus 6x squared negative f of x. So I'm going to take that and plug in what we found f of negative x was um, last time, sorry, negative f of negative x. We're going to take f of negative x and plug it in where that is. So taking this that I circled in red and plugging it in over here. And so this one stays the same. And we're going to change all the signs. So here, in the opposite way, we are slightly off because now our 4x to the fifth matches, but our 6x squared has different signs. So this was not odd either because it was not equal. So this is neither for this one. If you are following along, this is a great time to try one on your own. So our last one, x to the fifth minus 2x cubed plus x. See what happens. See if you can figure out if it's even or odd or neither. Um, hopefully you've tried it. I'm going to start to go through it now a little faster. So here is my even test. So I have x to the fifth minus 2x cubed plus x equals... So negative x to the fifth minus 2 times negative x cubed plus negative x. Rewrite the left side. Odd exponent goes negative. Another odd exponent stays negative. And then this is really x to the first, so that stays negative. So I'm just going to write minus x here. A little bit more simplifying, we're almost there. So here I have negative x to the fifth plus 2x cubed and then minus x. So that doesn't work. And I didn't write the word up here, but we're going to write even now and cross it out. Now, if I look, every single sign is off, right? Every single of those three terms has a different sign than the other side which is bad for being even, but it's also good if you look forward for being odd because that negative sign in the front is gonna flip everything over. So as you look at these, you, start to, you can start to see a little bit into the future of how things are gonna work. So now I'm gonna check is j of x equal to negative j of negative x. And I'm gonna write that function down. And we're gonna take this, I'm going to circle it in red again, and I'm just going to put a negative sign in front of that. So negative what we found on the other one, plugging it in for this. I'm running out of room. Okay, there we go. Hopefully you can see it. So this side, x to the fifth minus 2x cubed plus x equals, change our signs, Okay, this part is really messed up. I'm just going to say it again. It was originally negative x. I just made it positive x coming from here as the negative x, and I changed the signs. So this one is going to be x to the fifth minus 2x cubed and then plus x. So that looks good, right? That's equal. So this is odd. Now we want to look for patterns in this. So basically, is there anything we can see here that could let us kind of predict if functions are even or odd? Now, what we want to look for, for example, in letter A, we have x squared plus 1, right? Um, if I look at that, my exponents are even. And technically, even though there's nothing with the 1, that's an x to the 0, and 0 is an even number. On the next one, I have an even and an odd exponent. On this one... If I put a first power in for x to the first, I have odd, odd, odd. And that's actually a pattern you can find. And if you went back to the previous page, it would be true of those three tables at the bottom. If you have a polynomial function, so not everything's a polynomial function, but if you have these functions with x terms with exponents on them, 
if it's even, all exponents are even. And if it's polynomial and all exponents are odd, it will be an odd function.